Good afternoon. This is my first time here, although I have won the award three times. Uh, wow, I if I had known it was going to be like this, I would have been here before. <laughs> this is wonderful. And to see the kids, that's great. It's always great to see the children in the audience. I, I have to uh, omit something here that this is very difficult for me to um, do. I generally, I do a lot of speaking all over the country, all over the world, but I do it extemporaneously because I am dyslexic. And so I generally recite books or, you know, I read the books, but I'm not actually reading. You would think that I'm reading, but I've actually, rec I'm reciting. That's something that I've learned from a child. Uh, when I found out I had to stand in front of a, this, my classroom and I did not know I was dyslexic, and I stuttered. So standing up there and couldn't get the words out, the kids laughed. That has never left me. So when I stand in front of an audience, that little Earl is still standing here. So I want you to bear with me in my dyslexia, okay, as I thank these individuals that I need to thank. And I just see, so how you doing, Sarah? The editor and Susan. First, I'd like to thank the Jane Addams committee members for their recognition of our book, First Step. I also like to congratulate all the award recipients for their great work. And I want to acknowledge the fantastic team at, Sh at Bloomsbury, editors Emily Easton, Sarah Shumway, who signed and saw through the process. Creative director, Donna Mark, and designer, Elise M. Lee, for overseeing and realizing the design. Publishers, Cindy Lowe, of course, and Beth Eller and Courtney Griffin, marketing and publicity. Collectively, they, have, they trusted and believed in this project and had the foresight to see past mass appeal titles that have become the norm in our industry. And in this case, we've shown, they've shown the publishing world that there's, place, there's a place for quiet stories of lesser known heroes. Books like First Step can win significant awards. I recall when Susan Goodman first contacted me about this manuscript, I could hear the excitement and enthusiasm through the phone as she spoke about coming across this amazing but obscure piece of history about a young African-American girl named Sarah Roberts. Sarah lived in Boston in the mid-1800s, and Susan explained how this courageous little girl and her family set events in motion that would ultimately change and transform an unjust system. And when she finished, the reason for her call was crystal clear. This manuscript had me written all over it. I am both grateful and honored to have been chosen to illustrate this important civil rights story. Earlier, I embraced a quote of Mark Twain's. He said, the two most important days in one's life is the day you were born and the day you realize why you were. I know without a doubt that creating art for children is my true purpose in life. And I think too often adults assume that we empower children. But in my experience, children find and empower themselves. Our place is to simply provide a loving encouragement and, necess and the necessary tools. And what better tool than a book to give? And what better tool a book and what better tool than a book a child comes to love? Books like those awarded here that introduce endless possibilities, inspire imaginations, and foster achievements. I consider myself fortunate to be a part of little Sarah's continuing living history. And I believe amazing things do come in small packages, no matter the age, race, or color. With courage and conviction, each one of us can change the world. After all, every achievement 
from small to great begins with an initial first step. Thank you.